Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, you will learn about sell side services, brokerage houses, and investment banks. Let us start by understanding the services offered by the sell side. Sell side is selling research, advice, and securities it created to the companies and investors. Whenever you see a report that advises you to buy, sell, or hold the stock that's coming from the sell side of the business, investment banking falls in the category of the sell side. Sell side analysts do not buy or sell stocks and bonds. Rather, they make recommendations on how they believe the stock and bond will perform. Brokerage or firm that manages individual accounts and makes recommendations to the clients of the firm. Sell side analysts are those who issue the often heard recommendations of strong buy, outperform, neutral or sell. These recommendations help clients make decisions to buy and or sell certain stocks. Their main aim is to produce and sell research along with expert status. The sell side and buy side are dependent upon each other. One could not operate without the other. The sell side tries to get the highest price possible for each security while providing service and support in the form of analysis and ratings. Sell side research is often marketed to firms called buy side investment managers. These are the investment professionals that make the purchase and sale of securities. Let's begin with sell side research. Sell side research includes interfacing with company management, economic and industry data, credit ratings, company, industry, sector, subsector, commodity, economy, theory. Next comes to report preparation, earnings models, supporting analysis, expectations, EPS and CFPS also includes first call or consensus and lastly investment recommendation sell side services include internal and external buy side research investment management assist intermediaries and investment banking analytics sell side research is distributed to buy side analysis sell side research is distributed to buy side analysts and portfolio managers at a wide range of firms and to retail investors they also provide value for companies issuing stock by lowering the information cost to investors who are considering a stock and by helping create a liquid market for stocks. Moving on to brokerage firms. A brokerage firm is a firm that conducts transactions on behalf of a client. Some brokerage firms only conduct transactions, while others also offer different types of investment advisory services. Brokerage firms 
derive their profit from commissions on orders given. Clients may give orders in a variety of ways. Brokers are only allowed to conduct transactions on advisory accounts on the specific orders of the account holder or under very specific instructions. It has to be noted that brokerage firms have to be registered with SEBI or SEC. When a brokerage firm sells security on its own, it is said to be acting as a principal in that transaction. Firms maintain research departments for their own and their clients benefit. They also provide a range of financial products and services including financial planning, asset management and educational programs. Brokerage firms come in all sizes from one or two person offices to huge firms with offices around the world. In terms of services offered, brokerage firms search for traders who are willing to trade, represent their clients at exchanges, arrange dealers to fill clients orders, introduce their clients to electronic trading systems and match clients buy and sell orders. Let us now see the functions of brokerage firms as sell side. Brokers can solve clearing and settlement problems at low cost. Access exchanges and dealers that their clients cannot access. They maintain their clients accounts and help with clearing and settling trades. Provide the information systems that the firm uses to transmit market data, quotes, orders, etc. They also ensure that the firm extends credit only to good credit risk and ensure compliance with regulations. There are two types of brokers. They are full service broker and discount broker. Full service broker can be further divided into advisory and discretionary management. Finally, we will cover investment banks. What are investment banks? Investment banks are huge financial institutions that assist their clients, mostly corporates and government agencies in raising capital by underwriting and acting as the agent or an underwriter in the issuance of securities. In a way, investment banks serve as a bridge between large corporations and investors. Next, let's learn about the functions of an investment bank. Investment bank acts as intermediaries between companies on one side who want to raise money and investors on the other side that want to invest money. An investment bank assists these organizations with complex financial solutions such as with mergers and acquisitions and offering financial advice. They are responsible for market research and trading on behalf of their clients as well. It plays the role of an agent in getting things done for them from start to finish. Let's look at some of the major investment banks operating globally. They include Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, 
JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America Merrill Lynch, Deutsche Bank, Citigroup, Credit Suisse, Barclays Capital, UBS, HSBC, Nomura Holdings, RBC Capital Markets, BNP Paribas, and the Royal Bank of Scotland Group. So who goes into an investment bank? Clients of investment bank include big corporations, financial institutions, government agencies, pension funds and hedge funds. The clients are those who want to access the capital market either to raise funds or to invest excess funds. Size is an asset for investment banks. The more connections the bank has within the market, the bigger the client base and more likely it is to profit by matching buyers and sellers, especially for unique transactions. The largest investment banks have clients around the globe with unique and complex requirements. The global presence is not just to increase the client base, but also to provide unique features of each economy and to gain maximum returns for their clients. Investment banks provide end-to-end -end assistance right from pre-underwriting counseling to distribution of securities to post-issuance advisory. In pre-underwriting counseling, they assist in recognizing the market, the type of the product to launch, select the retail bank, and accountants, filing all the documentation and abiding to the legal requirements of the regulators. These banks also have their own trading desk to invest in the market. Because investment banks have external clients but also trade their own accounts, a conflict of interest can occur if the advisory and trading divisions don't maintain their independence. In order to maintain this difference, investment banks follow the Chinese wall rule, which is illustrated on the screen. Corporate finance desk will serve the client companies and they are not supposed to divulge any of its details to the sales and trading department and research department. Also these departments don't access each other's physical premises. Investment banking is split into front office, middle office and back office activities. The front office is generally described as a revenue generating role. Think you want to be an investment banker? Chances are the role you are imagining is a front office role. There are two main areas within the front office. Investment banking and market making. Investment banking involves advising the world's largest organizations on mergers, acquisitions, as well as a wide array of fundraising strategies. Market making is divided into sales, trading, some research and also structuring. Moving on to the middle office here. 
the key functions are treasury management internal controls and internal corporate strategy risk control and verification negotiation with the clients and internally as well as following portfolios finally you have the back office role which provides operational and technological support to the front office and middle office they are responsible for administrative functions bookkeeping executing payment orders operational control and reporting an investment bank acts as an intermediary between capital providers and capital users the capital providers are the ones with surplus money while the capital users are the ones in need of funds the capital providers are money managers hedge funds pension funds insurance companies mutual funds and high net worth individuals also called as hnis the capital providers pass on the funds to the investment banks the investment banks then aid the capital providers in making optimal use of their funds the main functions of the investment banks are research that is providing ideas on how and when to use capital next they understand the needs of client and build relationships accordingly this is part of the sales function lastly an investment bank executes the transaction in the marketplace based on client's investment strategy in other words trading the investment bank then provides the capital to capital users that is the one who need funds like corporations municipalities and governments that's it for now thank you and goodbye <clears throat>